there were days when investing money was considered equal to saving money in the bank but as the times have changed the definition of investing money has also changed you earn a certain amount of money every month right after all your bills and expenses what's left in your bank account is your saved money your bills can be utility bills like electricity bill internet and mobile services bills etc other fixed expenses can be your monthly rent your groceries etc if you earn 70000 a month and say for example your fixed expenses like rent emi groceries etc which come around rupees 10000 and your utility bills come around 5000 and you spend another 5000 rupees every month on miscellaneous spends like going out for a dinner movie etc then you will be having 50000 rupees in your savings account after spending all of this the same saved money after keeping aside some emergency fund can be invested in various other forms to multiply its value and we call this an investment Hello everyone my name is Soundarya Lakshmi Narayanan and in today's video i am going to address the key difference between saving money in the bank and investing money because without understanding the difference it would be very difficult to survive the world unless you're a billionaire before getting started with this topic let me ask you a question why do you earn money the answer to this question may vary from person to person but the bottom line will be the same to have a better quality of life both for you and your loved ones coming to the next question how will you attain that again the answer will vary from person to person but the bottom line would be proper financial planning now the first step towards planning your finances is to have a decent amount of money in your savings account usually that amount can be equivalent to 3 months of your monthly income or 6 months of your monthly expenses In financial terms it is referred to as emergency fund. This money can be used for unexpected expenses such as loss of job, family emergencies, medical expenses, household maintenance etc. Investment on the other hand is when you use your money to buy stocks, real estates, mutual funds in the hope that the value of the money will go up over time. If you look at it logically both savings and investments serve a common purpose but technically they are different from each other savings are for short term goals and expenses examples of which i mentioned earlier in the video whereas investments are for long term goals such as retirement buying or building your dream house education for your children etc in the time of extreme emergencies savings is a good option because it is readily available liquid cash that you may use to come out of that situation but the invested money can take a couple of days to come to your hands saving money in the bank involves negligible risk you put your money in the bank and they give you an interest on top of it whereas investment can be risky affair but the growth potential of investments is so huge that it cannot be matched to what banks has to offer you know rbi has forecasted that retail inflation rate is 5.7% in the financial year 2022 to 23 and 6.3% in the first quarter itself now banks offer a 3 to 4% interest on your savings account which makes it impossible to beat the inflation just by saving money but when you invest money in stocks or mutual funds you get much higher returns making it easier to feel the heat of inflation So all in all you don't have to choose between saving money in the bank and investing money they are both equally important to survive in this world you need to earn money spend less than your income save money and then invest the surplus funds to grow it in the future and you need to do it in a similar order while it's necessary to obtain some training before learning to drive learning to swim or even cook or any other new skill the same can be applied to learning how to invest which is a skill that is equally important to have and what better way to learn it through alice blue right alice blue is an award winning stock broker firm that aims to make everybody financially independent and financially literate with its aspiring investors program you cannot only learn the basics of investing but also be investment ready on your own this was all in today's video next time i'll see you with another exciting topic 
Until then, do subscribe to the channel, comment below if you find this information useful and share it with traders and investors you know. We'll all meet in another amazing topic. Thank you. Investment in securities market are subject to market risk. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.